Hello, hello, my crafty friends. It's me. Do you remember who I am? It's been so oh, ridiculously long. And I've missed all of you. Have you missed me too? And I've missed crafting. There's just been so much happening lately, and I'm sure I'll tell you all about it throughout tonight's crafty session. Um, I'm really excited to be here. I'm flying solo tonight. Craig's off to play football, um, and I'm hoping that all is all good. I did see that Mars9 was here. Hello. Um, and Jasmine is here too. Jasmine, could you give me the thumbs up if you can see me and hear me okay? Um, that would be brilliant. Um, oh no, what she's saying is the audio crappy for just me. Okay, well, I can try and, um, I can try and turn off the mic and turn it back on. Let me just kind of do that just now. Because we don't want to have crappy audio. That's not so fun. So bear with me a second. Right, how is that? Is that the same? Is that audio the same? Is it still crackly? Just let me know because I can swap over to the other microphone. It's being a little bit of a pickle. Pam is here, perfect audio now. Great, okay, well I'll leave that microphone there in case we need to swap over. I did the um, incredibly high-tech thing of muting it and taking it off mute. So who knows, it might go uh, a bit doolally again. Woo's Creation is here too. And Jasmine says she misses me and Pam is here too. Yay! Oh, you guys, I've missed you been nuts first i had friends here um on a they came on like a thursday night so they were here on the friday and then the next week i can't, I can't even remember there was one week last week i know for sure i was like i was literally here at four minutes to nine like oh and then strange noises were from the bathroom down there paper just threw up everywhere <laughs> Um, then I like it's just been doomed Friday nights has been a complete write-off for a little while and of course we're like well into December so all sorts of fun things is happening um, and like busy busy lifestyle there was one Friday night when Piper and I had a um, it was kind of a last minute thing we were invited to this thing which was called a very musical Christmas it was live music and we just couldn't pass it up to be honest so we had that last minute change of plans but um it yes Marcy says it seems like forever I totally agree so why don't we turn our camera around and get crafting because I might not even remember how to craft seriously like it's just been so Oh, Pam says, totally, uh, been totally lazy today. Haven't gotten anything done but online shopping. Online shopping is good. That means that you got shopping done. So well done you. I um, managed to get all my Christmas cards written and um, posted. Well, I say posted. They're all stamped. They just need to be slotted into the post box. Um, might not get there in time for Christmas, but who knows, hopefully they will. And um, uh, also I went shopping with Craig's mum, so um, I we bought chairs for the dining room table, I bought a coat, I pretty much bought loads of stuff for me that I really didn't need. <laughs> Oopsies! <laughs> but she has that effect on me. When I go shopping, I never find anything for me to buy. And then whenever I go shopping with her, it's magic, she has like the magic touch. <laughs> so because I haven't been crafting with you guys in weeks and weeks and weeks 
I haven't really even made a Christmas card this year that I remember. I might have done one or two before it was even Christmas feeling. Um, so I think we might do a Christmas card today, um, unless you guys have any other ideas. And Pam is here saying the moles, the moles, too cute. So a little bit of a, a little bit of a story with this one. Um, the moles are an exclusive stamp set, so they are not yet released. You cannot buy them in stores, etc. However, we have given them away as freebies in the store in promotions. Um, maybe you have been lucky enough to get a little mole in your order. And um, one of our design team ladies, Aisha, actually made a card using the mole and it was published in a magazine. And it was published and it was, I think it was on the front page of the magazine. And we have been getting emails from people going, where can I get these moles? I have looked everywhere. It says in the magazine that they're heffy doodle. Like, how can I get these moles? Um, so um, we today thought, oh, well, that's unacceptable. There's people there that want moles. We better do a little bit of a promotion where people can get hold of the moles. So we have a promotion on at the moment where you can get the molies for free with a spend in the Heffy Doodle store. So what better excuse than that for me to use the moles on my cart tonight. Now Jasmine, you probably have the moles because I remember you buying stuff whenever it was on the last release. Um, have you used them yet? I'd love to know. I was thinking we're going to have some molies. Let's go and see. Let me go and scrap some bits and pieces for laying out a stamp design or a card design, sorry. So maybe we'll go for a slimline tonight. And I'm going to pull out the slimline mini mail. Mostly because this sort of background makes a really nice, like it gives that sort of postage edge vibe here. So let's use our min, our slimline mini mail even. And then maybe we could have our slimline scenery dies here. And I think we're going to create a little bit of a snowy scene tonight. I think that would be fun. So I have my molies. And so I'm, I'm thinking about Christmas and Christmas cards. Maybe we need um, a Christmas post box, a mole, a letter perhaps. I think I'm going to put one of these letters in his hand. I'm not sure which way at the moment, but we'll give it a go. Jasmine said I made a thank you card a couple of weeks ago using the moles. I used the square masquerade stencil with the fancy foliage over it with the new trio tags and very vertical greetings. Oh, nice. Very good. So here's the question. Do we go American post box or mailbox or UK post box is the question. I think I'm gonna go for this one. And he's going to have a little post box and a little letter in his hand. And this little guy, I feel like I want him pop. Maybe we'll have him like popping out of a molehill or popping out over the side. That would be cute. Super cute. I like the idea of these like post boxes. Maybe he could be standing on a post box to reach in. That's cute. Hello, Daddy. And 
I liked also this, having the big gift over here would be cute, I think. I'm loving that. Or we could have the gift like over here with this little guy popping out of it. That would also work. He's looking into the middle. So um, I think he'll have to go on that side. And then maybe what we could do is have maybe some Christmas trees, maybe a snowman over that side. What do you guys think? I'd love to know your thoughts. So, and your input. So while I figure that out, let's stamp a few other stamps on my Misty here. Jasmine is saying, oh no, Marcy said, um, I use the llamas to make two Christmas cards. Ba la la llamas, yeah. I actually was really tempted to use the llamas tonight, but then because we had our mole promotion, I thought that just pushed me in that direction. Um, the llamas though look super cute, especially when they put the little um, scarf around the neck. So it's very, very adorable. Jasmine says, I know it's a busy month for most, but if you do find time to make cards to empty the Happy Doodlers Challenge this month, it's a lemon chiffon mood board. Yes, really fun. Please do try and join in. Right, so we have the mailbox from Yappy Happy, parcel, and the little letter as well. Now we need the big box from popping by, but we'll stamp the lid first of all. I might not even use the lid, I'm not sure. You shall see. Is everyone ready for the big day? I'm hoping that you are. And you need another piece of hard stock for this one. I think we're pretty much there. We do need to buy food. I think that's pretty much where we're at. Need to do the, the food shop, which hopefully won't be too dramatic. A couple of years ago, there was a real like shortage on carrots over here. I remember going to like four different shops just to try and get some carrots. Crazy. All right. my moles away. Pam says gifts mostly bought. Cards out need to decorate still and wrap presents when they arrive. Oh we're pretty much sorted in that that side of things. We actually Craig loves um lights and there's all all like loves like lights around the house and he has bought different pairs of lights or sets of lights to um, to put around the house and so we got them and then we went to put them up around the house and we realized that the ladder we had wasn't going to be tall enough for our new house so we phoned the um, we phoned the electrician that we used a little while back and we said can we book you in to come and help put out some or put some lights up around 
of things. We don't have a ladder. And he was like, oh, I could just let you borrow one of my ladders. We're like, oh, thank you so much. So we dropped down a ladder. And I kid you not, um, Craig and I both climbed about halfway up the ladder and then went, nope. <laughs> we completely chickened out. I can't believe we did it. Um, and so we were like, hmm, I'm not really sure what we're going to do here now. <laughs> So we then had to phone um, the, we, we had to, we phoned a different like handyman and we're like, hi, would you put up our lights for us? Cause we're too chicken to climb up and do it. So we finally got lights around the house yesterday. Our lovely handyman came and um, install them, I guess is the word for us. So they're looking really good. We're really happy with them. Aren't you, Craigie? They're light. They're lovely. What is that? Sunshine? No? No for the 24th of and the 25th minus one degrees. <gasps> Oh, that's exciting. Actually, at the start of December, it was really frosty here and it felt super Christmassy. And um, the last week has been really mild. Like you could totally go outside without a jacket on. Minus, minus half a degree tonight. <gasps> you have to tell me what that is in Fahrenheit so people can relate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So it looks like we might uh, might get a white Christmas. That would be fun. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Oh yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> Pam says I haven't had much from Mojo to craft lately. But I've bought plenty during Black Friday. Well, you know what my next question's going to be, don't you, Pam? What did you buy? Huh? Two different hobbies, Craig says, buying craft supplies and using it. Absolutely. I think we all know that's true. What did you buy? What did you buy? We bought lots during Black Friday too, but not crafty things, sadly. Um... What did I buy during Black Friday? I bought a chair for the office. And oh, I bought a, I bought I bought things. I bought memberships. I've got my Adobe Creative Cloud membership renewed, which is good. And I got a gym a gym membership. I was at the gym today, guys. I know you would never believe it because you know me. But that's that's right. I I've, I've been gymming it. Okay, so I've gymmed it like three times, but that's still more than I ever thought that I was gonna gym it. So still counts. We have booked a holiday in uh, March for March coming, and skiing. So we're gonna go skiing. Woohoo! And my plan is that. I need to be fitter and stronger by the time March comes round. So that is my goal. I don't know whether we're going to reach it or not, but we shall see. I also bought on Black Friday, um, there's like a, I guess it's like a, People say it's not a diet, but it is a diet, kind of. Like um, the Noom app, have you guys heard of that? So it is that it isn't a diet thing. Um, it's a lot more about education than anything else. And um, since being on it, I've lost nearly a kilogram. Which is really good. We're happy with that. 
But of course, Christmas is coming, so that'll be out the window fairly soon. <laughs> oh, dear, dear, dear. Jasmine says, is skiing a good idea for you after the last time? Yeah, I know. So the last time I went skiing is when I actually broke my back. But I'm just, I'm just feeling hopeful, Jasmine, <laughs> that this time will be different. Yeah, I know. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. I think the difference this time is that I will be more sensible and I will not be... I'll not, I'll, I don't think I'll be quite as brave, if that makes sense. I think that I will have to take it easy this time. And I'm quite happy if I only go on the bunny slopes or only go near like where Piper is. I'm absolutely fine with that. Absolutely fine indeed. <laughs> oh dear. So someone has asked. Do, 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 someone, someone had asked about what markers I'm using. Vanessa, hello. I'm using Copics. Most of these are Copic Chows, which are the skinnier ones. I'll bring them over here so you can see for a second. Most of them are Copic Chows, like this. I have a few colors which are the Copic Sketch, because there's more color uh, colors available in the slightly bigger one, the oval barrel. Um, so I have a couple of those guys in that other color. Oh, and press the buttons. And I'm using Heffy Doodle Alcohol Marker Friendly Cardstock, which I believe is the best cardstock for coloring. I've got my little cardboard box and my moleys. Moley, moley. Let's do my Christmas card. And it has a tiny little love heart in the back, so I'll just do that in red. Why not? Do this. And now um, I need to colour in my post box. Guys, what colour is a post box in America? Is it blue? I feel like it might be blue. Jasmine says, are you going to leave them up all year round? I think that's probably on the cards, let's face it. <laughs> Pam says, bought lots of stamps and dies. A crafty surprise box from Simon. I'm waiting to open it on Christmas Day. Good idea. And other miscellaneous things. I've also been opening an awesome advent calendar from Tailored Expressions. Oh, cool. Nessa says, since lockdown started, I've lost thir 39 kilograms whoa you are the queen that's incredible 39 kil that's incredible well done that's amazing hey no we don't want hurting ourselves let me see blue blue says pam thank you thank you um wow that's awesome Um, I think I said earlier that I lost a kilogram, but I actually meant nearly a stone, which is like, I don't know, what is that? 10 kilograms? Yes, I've nearly lost a stone. But, you know, it like fluctuates as, uh, as weight tends to do. Sad but true. Mm, what color do you be? I feel like it's a more vibrant blue. We'll just go for this. So 
So what have we got? We've got BGO5 and BO2 here. And I think I'll come back in with B00. Down this far edge here. I'm not sure how blue these are. Is it a darker blue maybe? Yeah, add a little BO5 in some areas. Now I see that BO5, I feel like that is. Maybe the color it needs to be. Let's color this in. A little BO5 and I'm going to also add a little gray to that. Oops, that's the wrong side. Um, Pam says, never been skiing, but like to try snowboarding. I tried snowboarding once and I found it very hard. Very hard. Okay. So we have a little moly like this, a little moly like that. And this little guy. Ah, it's looking good. Let's see how it's all going to come together. So we have this. And this, him, and here, and maybe he'll just be sitting on the edge of it, or maybe just sitting in front of it. Yeah, that might be better. All right, so um, I want to have a little think about the background, so let me die cut this. Um, with the slimline mini meal. And I'm thinking I might attempt to do kind of a non traditional color, maybe like a pinky purple kind of background. That's what I'm thinking anyway. So this is my background. Jasmine says, it's the best cardstock. Thanks, Jazz. <laughs> it's all I use, including for digi stamps, says Jasmine. Awesome. Marcy is saying that when lockdown started last year, I had everything in sight. Then this year I decided I needed to lose all that COVID weight. That is me. That is me. Well, sort of. So when lockdown started, I was um, rather than just eating everything inside, I became like really into baking. <laughs> I'm, I would make like something every week at the weekend. So once it was like chocolate eclairs with a creme patissiere center and not only just like chocolate eclairs, but I've got these are the like 
the white chocolate and raspberry eclairs, and these are the whatever else different flavor it eclairs. And then like, the next week, it was a Ferrero Rocher cake about this big, and then a red velvet cake, and then um, profiterole rolls, <laughs> and I did mid furry one week. And so I was like totally pushing my baking boundaries, but also pushing the old waistline too. So that was me. So that's why personal trainer and gym session has been required. Sad but true. Sad but true. But I don't know what um, things have been like with you guys, but we've got this new variant of COVID now over here. So that's been a little bit, um, that's been um, kind of ticking, ar ticking away in the background and now it's getting to the point where it's uh, incredibly problematic. So I've, I've got my booster injection on Monday. Fun times. I think, thankfully, a lot of people up here are now getting to the point where they're going, oh, we don't want to be ill for Christmas. Let's stay home. So it's pretty much what our opinion has been. Let's get everything sorted for Christmas so that we don't have to go out there <laughs> into the big bad world. Let's take this little love heart off in the middle of my die set so I can cut out these little cutie patooties. Oh, I have to tell you though, um, here in our neighborhood, I feel like I have done some sort of like magical manifestation powers going on because I drew these moles and then we we had them in the summer, released them in the summer as the freebie. And do you know what? Since then, our neighborhood has had massive mole problem. Uh-oh. So I am wondering if I sent some sort of like moly vibes into the universe. Like, oh no, I didn't mean to bring the mold upon us. And it, um, as you drive in, we're like the last house in our, in our neighborhood in our little cluster of houses. And it started off with like, is that, you know, two little lumps? Is that Got moles, and then the next week there's like four little little moly humps, and then you just see it getting closer and closer. And then yesterday Morgan sent me a picture of outside, and she was like, "The heavy defenses have near been breached." It's like right at the gate. So oh. go away, moles. And some people's gardens have just been absolutely like decimated. Make such a mess. So I only want paper molds, thank you very much. No real molds. Okay. Got my mailbox. Now I'm a little card. My stomach's rumbling. My stomach has no business rumbling because I had a big baked potato for lunch and a big lasagna for dinner. So.
And last week I was on um, antibiotics as well. I'll tell you about that in a second. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Baking and buying comfort food for fear that it would be out of stock, says Marcy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Jasmine asks, how has it been finding food for Piper? Yes, Piper is dairy-free and no tomatoes, no MSG. And um, I mean, I guess in some ways it's fine. It's fine in the fact that you got to do what you got to do. So you just get on with it. But um, it's also a nightmare because, oh, like today I wanted to pick up something for us to eat. And I was right beside Marks and Spencer's, which is somewhere I don't really go to. And I was like, oh, I'm right here. I'll just pick up something. So I go in and it's like every, I'm no familiarity with their foods at all. So I think, right, well, I have to get something, but I have no concept of what kind of things do and don't have the bits and pieces that Piper is allergic to. So, so you have to like look at every single item and it just takes such a long time. Um, and especially at the moment when I don't really want to be out there in the world for much longer than I need to be, so. It has its challenges, let's say. Okay, so I have my um, background and I'm going to have like a snowy bit going on here. Let's put some of these away so that I don't lose them. Pam says, yep, that's what I'm going to blame this extra weight on, COVID. <laughs> we went from preparing our own foods to getting deliveries from restaurants. Ooh, sounds calorific. But also delicious, so. <laughs> you give some, you know. You win some, you lose some. Marcy said, we had the Delta variant, and now we got our first case of Omicron one in the, the country this week. Oh no. But she's all boosted too. Well, at least that's a blessing. Yeah, we had to wait until it reached our age level. Marcy says, Pam, yes, we did too. Curbside pickup. They made it too easy. Yeah, I totally understand that. Let's move these little guys to the side and I think I'm going to go for pinky bluey purple or something to that effect. Pink, pinky purple maybe. Pinky pinky purple. I think I might actually go for a lighter pink. Let me see if I have another brush in here or something. I do, I do, I do. Some time for tea brushes. These are the more, more the pink that I'm going for. Ooh. I'm thinking a little fun sugar, maybe. Let's give this a go. Hey, Candy. Hey. Jasmine says, um, you can blame me as they were my suggestion. What was your suggestion, um, Jasmine? I forget. Yeah, so ever then, um, they said that the infection rate was like doubling. So, um, doubling every two days, was it? Which is crazy. So, hopefully, everyone's gonna stay home. Oh, the moles we were suggesting. Oh, okay, gotcha. I understand now. Lush pink, there we go. And then we're going to add a little on the purpley side. So I've got milled lavender. 
Let's see how that turns out. Like a Manu hoodie color, like a lavender. We got some hoodies at Heffy HQ. That was a Black Friday purchase, actually. Black Friday deal to um, get a bunch of hoodies at a reduced price. So we thought, yeah, let's just do that. And one, well, one of the reasons we wanted to do it was that next week on Tuesday, we were supposed to be going on our work Christmas event. So it, we were, during the day, we were going to go to Aberdeen and do an escape room. And um, of course I say we were supposed to because with, um, with COVIDs, that has been, uh, that's been postponed. I'm gonna go for shaded lilac just to bring in a bit of a more bluey tone. The milk lavender is still quite pinky. It's looking nice and subtle. Let's blend that back down. What's your thoughts on non-traditional colors for Christmas? I think every year I like go through a little journey of oh, pinks, pinks, there's only pinks everywhere. I, hate, I don't really like pinks. Give me my greens and my reds. And then every so often I'm like, oh, I just want pink. <laughs> pink or like a light blue or something nice I think it does look pretty though I cannot deny it it looks very pretty put these away Spun sugar and mill lavender. Marcy likes both traditional and non traditional. Awesome. So I think we're going to have uh, some snow in the background. Gotta be done, I think. Gotta be done. It's gonna be in his hand. Uh, my work is discouraging holiday gatherings as well. This is Marcy. Yeah, I think that's where we're at, guys. That is where we're at. All right, let's see if we can color in this parcel. No present. I'll go for some purple leads, I think. Oops. Good. Cute. Um, I might actually add a bit of a tint of a blue to it just to make it stand out a little bit more. Pam says, loving the colors. That's too light, it appears. So a little bit darker than that. Let's see. See, maybe a B12. Yeah. Do 
just to bring a little bit of different colours into that, I think. Um, and I'm thinking we might go for. I wonder if we could figure out and do a, like a gold bow. That might be cute. We shall see what we can do for that. I do have a gold here, but I don't know whether it's actually going to. Oh, it might work. Let's color it in with a bit of yellows and we'll come over the top of this. Maybe some light colors. Jasmine says, I was supposed to be at work due today with the Chertsey team, but I didn't fancy it with the new variant rates. Mm hmm. Yeah, so we have moved forward our um, Christmas gathering to till March. So we'll see. We'll see. It's all going to just be. see what happens kind of thing. So I'm grabbing a couple of colors, yellow tones, and also YR31, which is more of a sort of butterscotchy tone. And then I'm gonna come in with this little guy, which is a gold pen. In fact, it kind of depends. I'm just going to draw some stripes on it and see if I can get away with that. No, I think I'm going to color in. Oh, no, I don't like it when it's colored in. Mistakes were made. Just colored in by itself. Makes it look really flat. I wonder if I could create a little bit of dimension on top. Yeah, we might be able to do that. We'll give that a go. Nessa says, don't forget a thumbs up for lovely Leslie. Oh, thanks, Ness. You're the best. There we go. Gold bow. I don't think I've got any crafty things on my wish list this year, which is quite shocking. Must be the first year in a long old time. Oh, I know what else we bought for um, on Black Friday. As a team, um, there was a there was a sale on the website Udemy, U D E M Y. I don't know if you're familiar with it, Udemy. And it is a website where you can um, do like online training courses, I guess is what you would call them. And um, we signed up for couple that we thought would work well with the team. So we, we got, um, I think it was like a graphic design one. I actually bought a drawing one, which I'm quite excited about doing. And a, phot a photography one, I think we got. So it's all exciting. That is good. All right, let's see. I 
I think a lot of people will be um, foregoing their Christmas celebrations. I mean, their Christmas uh, work dues, but to be fair, I'm sure everyone will survive. All right, guys, what else do we need on this card? Thoughts, ideas, please. This is gonna go on here like this. Are we gonna put this here? He's in front of it. I feel like we need some snow happening. And Catherine Pooler. Angel that she is sent me some snowflake dyes that I have not yet used. So why don't we die cut some snowflakes for this background? Oh, it's going to be beautiful. Let's do it. So I'm just going to run these through the Gemini for ease. Marcy says those classes sound great. Yes, I have done some before and I absolutely would recommend um, checking them out, you guys. If... Um, and the thing is, there's so many options that they have um, that are just really awesome. They have ones which are, you know, like for time management and, and things like that. There's ones for like mindfulness. And then there's also like learn a language or um, like learn piano, that kind of thing. So lots and lots of really cool options. These dies are awesome. That looks really cool. Okay, I'm gonna die cut that one more time. So that uh, I could put a little variety on here. I've made a mess, but I'll deal with that in just a second. My die has slipped a little bit, so I've cut the cut the corner of one of these, but that's okay. We will hide the crimes, as Morgan is fond of saying. Hide the crimes, hide the crimes. Nice. So these are the Catherine Puller dies. Snowflakes. What are they called? Snowflake trio. Oh, let me. Nice little uh, something for your uh, Christmas list. If uh, cra a messy craft desk is something that you suffer from, a little personal desk hoover in a beautiful minty green color, of course. All right, let's stick these on. So nice. I'll go for something like that.
this just makes it look a little bit different to doing like falling snow, if you know what I mean. Just mixes it up a little bit. Jasmine says she's all Christmas carded out. Yeah, well, the funny thing is that um, I haven't made really any at all. Like, I can't, I made one on a live with Catherine for car making day. What was that, October? Shocking. And um, I don't even think I did make any on the lives with you guys. I'm not usually a big Christmas card maker. -er. I think because I can't really make them out of season. I have the same problem when it comes to um, drawings. <laughs> but uh, I find it very hard to draw Christmas stamp out of season. And of course, I need to, need to be ahead of the game. This one is really pretty. Marcy says, I made so many, I'm officially burnt out. I think that's like one of the re main reasons why I don't make Christmas cards is that I overdid it one year and um, I think also sometimes people they they like expect a handmade card or something so you get this sort of sense of oh I really should give so and so a handmade card but I'm giving so and so a handmade card so I need to do the other person a handmade card and then it just gets completely like out of control super quickly that it's not even funny so I just decided nah I'm not doing it thanks but no thanks Goodness. Where's my little Hoover again? Brilliant little thing. Right, so here is my background and my snow. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Let's add a couple of little dots using my gel pen. Or some extra bling bling. So I'm kind of alternating between a little dot, a fatter dot, um, I guess an O, like a, an open circle. 
And then I'm also doing a couple of these little asterisk guys. Why not? It makes it look really cute. Let me show you guys a close up. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Suzanne's here. So excited to catch Leslie live. I know it's been so long. Missed you all. There's just been so much going on. Like, and I always I like I honestly don't even remember what all you know, if that makes sense. Like, do you guys know Craig was in hospital? Do you guys know that um he might have to have an operation. Do you guys, like, I forget what you do and don't know. Because it's been so long. So long. I think we need a little bit of snow on here. And snow marker action. This is going to make it look almost like it's been cut out of pearlescent cardstock, which is going to be really cute. Nice. Very pretty snowflakes. Very pretty snowflakes. Yes, okay. Uh, Jasmine says you told us about Craig. I think I remember that because someone said that they had their gallstone uh, gallbladder removed or something like that. So I actually do remember that now that I've mentioned it. And uh, where is my, my... Where is my phone tape? Oh, there it is. I see it. This is going to be so pretty, so pretty. Marcy says, I must have missed that live. Yes, he, yeah, he had, um, I guess, like an um, inflammation or an attack on his, um, like, gallbladder. And they discovered he's got, like, gallstones causing him problems. And he had to go get an MRI and everything. And... He is waiting to hear when he can get his gallbladder removed. Eee! Fun times, fun times. All right, so let's stick down this little guy here oh that's a bit close to the edge Too late. I've made my bed, I must lie on it. Overhang that slightly so it looks more like a present now. And now I have got my little, little guy down here. I love him. Now let's stick these on. I 
And I'm just putting foam tape near the top of this because uh, the legs are going to be on the actual raised up snowy bank area. Jasmine says, how is he doing? Uh, he's doing really well, I have to say. Thanks for asking. Um, he He's pretty much back to eating somewhat normal food. We're, we're being... We're being more cautious now, obviously. So between him having low fat foods and Piper not having dairy and things, our, our meal planning is lots of fun. You know, very time consuming. <laughs> um, but it is what it is. We're okay with that. We will survive. We will survive. Many people have it worse, so. But yeah, he's doing really well. I think the sad thing is that you don't really know when it's going to strike again. Oh, hello. Mac. couple of glue dots on that one and we'll raise this boy up as well oops that did not work there we are Marcy says, that's painful per Craig. In general, says Pam, I like making cards when I don't have to. That way I have them. I already have them. Like I have enough handmade Christmas cards for next year already for making them this summer. Oh, I, you see, I think I'd be okay with that maybe. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't think I could make them in summer. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. I think that's going to be too raised up with that. So let's just put some glue on it for him. Lots of creative meal planning. Mm-hmm. Oh, no, this just dropped onto my... A big bloop of glue just dropped down. It'll survive, it'll survive. I feel like I've done him too close. Ooh. Will I survive? Yeah, there we go. I think that's gonna be a little bit better now. Suzanne says she has been in such a creative slump recently. Making Christmas cards has given me a little bit of spark and purpose. Oh, good. I'm glad that it's pulling you up out of the slumpy slump. That's the worst whenever you're feeling a bit mere. All right. I definitely need something else over here. Uh, what's your what's your thought, you guys? Should I go for maybe some Christmas treats or um, a snowman? I'd have a little snowman here. I'd have a Christmas tree. Oh, 
feel like the snowman might go with our snowy scene. That might be cute. Christmas, uh, Christmas tree, I think, might end up being a little too... Well, we're going to have to add green for that, I think, aren't we? So... So maybe Mr. Snowman would keep our colors in this color family here. And I think I will add the presents from Santa's village, maybe. Um, there's a present here in Elfing Christmas Words, so let's go ahead and do that first and foremost. Christmas tree, Christmas tree. Okay, so some some uh, requests for Christmas trees. Let's see what we can do when we add these and maybe add a little tree. Someone said, no, you can do a tree any color. Well, that's true. Maybe I'm just being too restrictive. Definitely, there's a lot of like pinks and things out there in the Christmas tree land this year. Um, because my darling daughter is completely anti-pink now. 10 going on 11 and uh, it looks like she is going to be in that no pink zone for a little while. I too went through this phase. My phase lasted a long time. <laughs> I remember being a um, bridesmaid at my sister's wedding and I was probably 19 and I pretty much told my mom that I didn't want to be the bridesmaid because I didn't want to wear a dress. Oh dear. But I did, I did. In the end, I did. Sadly, as Piper is discovering, um, like the whole girls department in stores is all like aimed at pink. Like it's all, it seems like every single piece of clothing that people make for girls of a certain age, it's like all they can think of is let's just make it pink. Where is my W5? Where did you go? There you are, W5. He's so cute. Now we're going to give him a little orange no. Oh, is that it? And I think a, a little bit of a BG10. Minty kind of shading around the outside. And we 
might even go back in with that glitter pen because, you know, glitter. Glitter is awesome. Let's see what we can do with these. Do you want to build a snowman? Let me catch up. Justin says you can have any color tree. Mm -hmm. You could also use the smaller ones from Santa's Village. Yes, the little parcels, little presents. Yes, yes, yes. I think that's what you mean. I'm tempted to do that too. I shall see. Oh no, the trees. No, I love those trees. I should have totally used those ones. Hmm. Yes, you might do that. You might do that. And then it's less of a like Christmas tree and just like background tree. That's a good idea, child. A good idea. I went through it too and went from pink to purple to green. Now back to pink and purple as an adult. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to put that one in there for fun. Need a little bit of... Uh, A bit of foam tip for that one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know whether I want to bring another color into my... Uh, I think it's looking really good. Eee, so cute. I think I might just put Mr. Snowman here. And maybe some par little parcels around about. And that might be it done for tonight. Because after shopping with mummy and a personal trainer session, and how many steps am I on? Oops, I'm 20. Let's see. 12 and a half thousand steps. It's not a bit wonder that my back is feeling a little bit dim. Today. So cute, that little snowman. Let's give you some glistening snow. Here we go. Let's get some other little gifts. So we have Santa's Village has some gifts. It has like a stack of gifts. Oh, where's my Santa's Village going? Did I take it out already? Not sure where that one is. All right, well, I guess we're not doing that one. What else has a little resin in it? Okay, a little shellfish has a little present like this. We're just gonna go for it. We're gonna use whatever ones we can get our poles on for just now. I don't think that's alcohol marker friendly card stuff.
Eliza ink from the mini me. All right, let color him in. Maybe some more of that blue tones and some of this darker purple. coming together nicely. I love the way that you can take a random stamp set like our molds and make a card that is for Christmas just by pulling other items out of your stash. I think it makes it really fun. I think to finish this card, we'll put it on a um, piece of cardstock. I'll put it on a card blank. And I'm probably thinking that the ice blast cardstock would work well. Or just some white cardstock. I don't know. I think maybe that is too bright for this. Cut it down and see what happens. don't have the pull out bit from my guillotine so oh I've done that I've done the stupid thing where I've cut it too thin I think that's going to be too dark so I'm gonna leave that for now and maybe I'll come back and add it onto a bit of a lighter colored cardstock um or maybe I will um choose something oh here's one this corn flour maybe corn flour would be better Oh yeah, that looks much better, I think. A bit more in line with my color tones. Yes, that looks much better, doesn't it? I think that would work real much, much better. Oh, Jasmine's suggesting light pink. Light pink would work too. Let me see if I can find the pull out bit for my guillotine. If I can actually cut it down at a acceptable width. Mm. 
and cut it at seven and crease it at three and a half. I am loving that so much. Where is my ATG gun? We're gonna stick this down and we're gonna call this project done. And we're gonna have a very moly Christmas. Jasmine is asking, will you be crafting next week? It's Christmas Eve. No, I don't think I'll be crafting next week. I think I will have other things to be doing on Christmas Eve, like peeling my spuds and getting everything all ready for, um, but also next week we're actually, um, next week we're taking Piper on a dry ski slope on, um, on, on Friday. So we need to, I think they figured out that we need to get up at like 6 a.m. on Christmas Eve and then travel to up, up the mountain to go to the slopes, the dry ski slopes. So I'm pretty gonna, pretty much gonna be shattered on Christmas Eve. So I think probably I'll give myself a little bit of a break then. But let's take a look at what we have here. Here I have the finished card beautiful winter card we've gone for those non-traditional colors those pinks and purples a little bit of blue some shimmer loving those snowflakes from Catherine Pooler I think it looks really really pretty what do you guys think matches my hoodie <laughs> I think it looks super pretty and I hope you guys like it too um, don't forget if you haven't got out, got your molds, um, they are available at the moment um, on the Heffy Doodle store. We have a little promotion. You can check out um, our posts on Instagram and bits and pieces for more detail. I'm so happy that I managed to um, get to craft with you guys tonight. And I'm, once again, big apologies that it's been such a long time. I've missed you all. I've loved having you here tonight. I hope that um, everyone who hasn't made it live is able to catch up on the replay. And I'm going to now say um, cheerio and have a very, very Merry Christmas. I love you all and appreciate you all. I hope that Santa is good to you and that you have a wonderful, wonderful Christmas time. Um, and I am really hoping that we're going to have a white Christmas here because I think that would really make it super magical. I'll leave it with you and have a lovely weekend. And until next time, happy crafting. Bye.